So I'm back to this volleyball picture, this beach volleyball picture to use this blur sharpen smudge tool. It can do different things based on what's selected. So for instance, if I really don't want to know what team this guy's on, I want to kind of keep this private. I might want to change the, again, the brush of the size because whatever is this is over, see how big the brush is? That's where it's smudging or it's blurring in this. So I have this mode selected, this blur, so that's what it's gonna be blurring. So I'd, I might wanna take these letters and just blur them out. I don't want people to really know what's going on there. So, and there's times where I might wanna decrease the strength of it too. I don't want to be that big of a blur, but I can, I can blur something out. I can also sharpen something. The letters on this volleyball are not that clear. So I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush um, so I can just drag over these letters. And now these letters are quite a bit clearer than they were. So I just went over this a little bit with the, the sharpen tool. And then of course, just for fun, if I, I need to kind of smudge something out, I don't like this wasn't blurred enough. I want to smudge this a little bit more. So I now, let me increase my brush a little bit more because those letters are bigger than what the tool was. I can just kind of go over this and now make it really not readable at all. So here I have his shirt. Um, and again, you can't, you can't tell what, what that used to say at all. It's been blurred and it's been smudged. So that's the blur tool, the sharpen tool and the smudge tool.